everybody! Welcome! Привет, Оля Лабас! It's Сергита again. In case you have joined me first time, uh, or if you've been watching my uh, videos, welcome again. It's time for update of my end of January. It's been about, what, 10 days since last time? So, and I decided I need more coffee. It's mocha. So that's why shushi time. It means it's mommy time. Nobody can disturb us, right? And then almost you have to wait. So wait. So how you've been? Some winter you're having, huh? At least us. We're still waiting for winter. We're still waiting for a snow. Um, I don't think we even have any snow clothes, like a snow boots that fit everybody or uh, like a whole snow pants outfit thing. Because we, if we see snow usually lately, you know, past some years, it's just for a couple of days. And uh, I don't know if it's worth buying all the outfits just for a few days unless we're planning to go somewhere skiing or somewhere up north, so. Anyway, and so we're still waiting for snow. I'm sure it will come. It will start coming. I have no doubt it will, sh it will show up. Ah, so um, what's been happening? In case you wanna know. If not, you can kinda skip to some time. Uh, seems like we're like second day on um, water boil uh, event. Uh, some big pie bursts like in a huge area and uh, it was um, not recommended trying to even use water yesterday especially in the morning I mean you could practically can't take a shower the pressure was so low and uh, of course you can't drink it and uh, even on TV it said it's looking pretty bad but um, Seems like it's getting better. Schools are back in session, even though they had to bring their bottles of water, at least. Luckily us, we had some. And uh, so I always try to keep water just in case, you know, we have a guest from out of town or somebody comes in and doesn't like our fridge water, you know, even though it's filtered or sink water. Um, so we have water bottle just uh, for that or to take it somewhere. So we stayed home yesterday with all the kids. The husband still had to go to work because apparently his work area was not that badly affected. And uh, what else uh, since I talked to you, when was it? Ah, uh, calendar. Um, I talked to you on like 20th. So my middle kid, got into the sickness for like two weeks. Um, we stayed home, stayed at home. Um, the, he was complaining of bad stomach pains, like stabbing. And then I started thinking, well, he didn't have any fever, it's just the big pains and uh, he couldn't hold for a few days something in the stomach. And then finally I took him to uh, ER in the evening because I thought maybe he's having appendix, you know, it always starts in the stomach. And though it's kind of early age to have appendix, but apparently for boys, it might be earlier age than for girls. I didn't know until I started reading online, you know. But so they did uh, IVs and they checked all of his blood work and turns out he has very bad stomach flu, which has been going around. I didn't know that. Um, so we stayed another week because uh, well, not in ER, at home. We stayed another week. He, when we went to check up on with his doctor, she had a kind of guessing and then we did the testing. He had the strep throat. So again, it's contagious. So I pretty much was stuck with him alone for days at home. Oh, that little piece of hair just doesn't want to stick together. Ah, oh, so. So I'm so happy I could take a shower this morning. Um, and um, so yeah, and then eldest one, my uh, driver who maybe I'll take today for uh, practice driving, uh, student driving, 
he had to go to a podiatrist uh, with the toe problem so it's like then I've been running back and forth we have very old one of the cars are pretty old so um, we went in uh, St. Louis to see the car show we didn't test drive any yet but we kind of looked around and uh, asked questions and uh, we need to start looking at the new car uh, because I don't know how long this one is gonna have it's been it's antique almost hey but it still works right um, and uh, so let's see uh, what you've been waiting for probably uh, okay so I'm participating if you know or you first time turning in tuning in in my channel I'm participating in stitch from stash for the first half of the year I don't think I can do the whole year because um, for me to prepare for a year I very slowly kid up and some of the projects are pretty big like I have an art designs or well at least Chatelaine I have plans for 2018 so um, I have all the threads I just need fabric and picking fabric and then figure out what kind of framing I want to do is my biggest headaches. Is it yours too? Uh, I hope not. I hope I'm in the minority. So, uh, yeah, so what I've done since last time, I was showing you my butterflies and I worked for a few more days after I showed you my progress and uh, I'll insert a picture where I put the last time of my butterflies look um, so I since I worked just for a couple of days the only thing pretty much I did is um, I added there you go I added extra the last butterfly so it's done except it's gonna be like a little antenna here um, so I finished him except antenna and I did I think this little part so I did that so I'll finish him up next rotation and the, those little plants here and then it will be done so maybe next rotation this will be done will be a pole Ah, I love this fabric. It's just so soft. I can snuggle it up. So I worked this and then I grabbed new project, another one. And that was from, uh, it was freebie months from Joyful World. I'm using 36 count vintage country mocha and I'm doing two over two and I've done some changes in the threads if you'd like to know some I might be able to show you um, there is a Facebook group just for the cell um, I'm not doing like a style of it but I'm in the group and just curious I'm curious to see um, what uh, everybody is making you know on what kind of fabric count and color and um, there are different uh, languages uh, showing the months so it's, that's kind of cute so this one I, I was folding to put in the frame so this is my January Ta-da! it's finished of course it's finished it didn't take me long so um, and I'm contemplating putting like somewhere here and maybe this space um, Lithuanian translation uh, she didn't have every month with different languages uh, like this kind of you know put down but um, I can figure out so I have plenty of fabric if I wanted to do here but I got the frame where's my frame at least temporary I've been trying to figure out how I want to finish it I thought about getting like a stand thing where you can just attach 
I would make it each month like a flat fold and then attach it with the, like a Velcro to standing frame, like a board thing. And then I can maybe attach extra signs like with the month or little thingy that goes, coordinates with the month. But then I went to the Walmart. I had to go for something and I stopped by the framing section. And I saw this kind of frame. Well, it needs to be folded in. And I thought maybe I should just put it in a standing frame. It's a fairly cheap one. But, and I would take out the glass and it would be just like open air frame. So what do you think? Would that work? Give me your opinion, please. Yeah. Um, so the patterns, they usually are gentle art uh, and uh, I had only a few gentle arts in my collection so um, I, do, uh, I didn't want to buy a bunch of extra and so I pulled out, she gives the DMC, I'm looking at the paper, she gives us DMC kind of possibilities so, but I was also trying to get more var variegated and uh, so I had some wigs dye work so I was pulling out what I had from them and trying to sort of match the colors like you know greenish colors for plants and stuff so for January if you're interested the sexy foxy fox see all the colors differences in that orange thing. I used Works Dye Works Weeks Dye Works 2238, which is called, let me see, Sweet Potato. So I just, I had in a baggie. So, oh, focus, focus. Ah, I can't figure out how to make it focus. Anyway, Weeks Dye Works, Sweet Potato. And I think it turned out okay. Um, for I changed, uh, let's see, leaves, the greenery. Uh, let's see, me like a stock. I did the wigs that works two two zero five, and then the darker. They're sort of like a darker parts. Uh, I just made to DMC 3364, which was originally the stock. So I thought that turned out okay. Well, at least to me. And uh, the rest of it I've done, the rest of it I've done um, in the DMC colors. And those little eyelets right here. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. I've used only one thread versus two. Um, I tried with two and looked kind of bulky and I'm, I was thinking, uh, I want to maybe see more, more, more lightness in the, in the, in the thing. So I've done, I've done with one thread. And then I was, you know, it was end of January, so I'm hoping to get each month done before that month starts. So I was like in the passion in it, you know, to do it. And so I whipped out February and I finished it and it took me, let's see, so January, it took me about 10 hours uh, to, to do it, you know, kind of medium speed. And February I did in 13 hours because I was doing a little bit, I was counting my uh, thread pickings, you know, that uh, it's like I started with one color, or like DMC I think, or, or even wigs that works and I didn't like it much, so I changed it. So you wanna see it? Ta-da! Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. February is done, so it's sort of attached in my hallway. Okay, and for February, February, February. Uh, let's see what I've done. Uh, for, I 
actually asked my husband's opinion of the duck colors because he goes duck hunting. So uh, I was trying to show him the picture and um, this ducky, well, kind of both of them, but this ducky, uh, I showed the picture and he looked even online to see, to show me the colors. It's, it's variegated. I don't know if you can tell. I used, I used limited, uh, no, which one? Was it limited edition? Gentle Art or Wix Dye Works Hazelnut? Darn. I can't remember now. Ah! So anyway, it's the same with the border. Brown and uh, words. It's not a big variation. And... Uh, Let's see, for orange, you know, legs, I use just a DMC. The other change I've done is this, like a greeny green color. I used the uh, Cypress 2153 of Weeks Dye Works. And, uh, uh huh. I don't remember if this, I think this was Weeks Dye Works gunmetal the blackish sort of ish color and what else i changed something else uh -huh, uh -huh. oh and like it's sort of like a blackish chesty thingy was molasses i think we use that works i had a couple choices picked and i didn't mark which one i did but i guess i could look into my my baggies to see which one is taken out so my february is done and i'm gonna wait till uh let's see probably uh can you believe in the cell phone calling from florida or new york or california and there was a thing on a tv uh speaking about phone calls there was a thing on TV about uh, phone scams that uh, they say, hey, can you hear me okay? And then they wait for your word like, yeah, okay, good, or something like that. And they, apparently they uh, record it. And then later on, um, they send a message saying that, oh, you know, you said you promised sort of like to buy something or and they have your word record it and put in that when they ask you a question then you say yes yeah, sure or something like that so if you get a phone call like this i just if i pick up by accident i just wait and they still continue talking so it's a recording of theirs and i just didn't, don't say anything and then hang up mm. so yeah don't get scammed. Of course, you know, they don't get your credit card number or anything, but it's like your promissory saying that you said you're gonna get it so they can get you. So far, this guy said, um, so far they haven't uh, seen any cases that, you know, people are so outraged that they have to buy something, but scam is a scam, you know, and uh, especially like some Confused older people might be, you know, very upset about it or give out the real information. Um, so, yeah, be aware, be very beware. Okay, so um, I know there is a sale, I think, in Stitchmania that, or one of the Facebook groups, that um, since it's year 2017, that you start a new thing. Uh, on the 17th, so I think I might do the March on the 17th. Since I'm doing 40 new starts plus trying to finish up my old webs, I calculated that it would give me a, at least two new starts a month. Plus, I'm gonna try to do Stitch Mania, you know, 15 starts or so in uh, May. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. So. So yeah, I've started that. So since I finished February, I thought, well, the month of February in the uh, joyful world. And uh, I pulled out something new again. And in February, there is a February freebie, freebie uh, like a sale going on, you know, group, whole group. 
and one of the there's so many freebies online you know or you know even the magazines give out extra freebies or when you order or something so I've had this for a bit you know I'm trying to clean out my stash and uh, eh, let me pull it out so I don't remember where I got is but I thought I would try to use make this little house uh, which one is clear this or that's clear anyway I thought it's kind of you know homey I mean I know the holidays are over um, but um, didn't look like a huge project, but something different, cute, and uh, there's alphabet to change your name in there. So it's a freebie, and on the back it shows you how to stitch and you know stuff in there. So I've been working on it for what's it? Today is the third day. I started on the first. Wow. And uh, this is what I've done so far. Um, I was sort of started to cross country and then when I went up to the roof and the roof I was doing like um, going down like a parking. Um, so this is, ta-da! Can you tell comparison? The roof, it's, this is just two colors and um, in the window i wanted to do windows like finish this part but then i didn't even look up that it had sort of um like in the windows it has mixed with the dmc gold thread so i'm gonna use something different i had to go dig out of my stuff so this is what i've done so far i probably gonna I'm, i'll continue work on that tonight today tonight um and maybe tomorrow i'm not sure uh, so that's my current whip and I'm doing this um, on some kind of linen I think like from Joann's or Hobby Lobby so I work on that so that's my third new start since you last saw me so so far this year I've started five new well I count my year of uh, new starts on my uh, mid-December when it was my birthday and uh, I finished three out of that five yay I'm not used to making small projects so um okay my question would be um since my kids got uh, their own well two of my kids got their own uh, little tablets I have my kindle free um there were a bunch of talk of which uh, like PDF reader is better and a lot of people use iPads which would not work for me because those programs were better for iPads versus like uh, tablets and Androids. So my question would be uh, to you, that's a weird noise, sorry, <laughs> it's like a cat or bird meowing or making noises um, my question to you would be um, which PDF uh, chart reader would you recommend uh, for non iPad users like tablets Android stuff um, there's like easy PDF is that better for iPad or not I don't remember hmm. I just can't get my hair today fixed ah. So that was other. Um, maybe it's a dog whining somewhere out there, neighbors perhaps. Um, so yeah, and uh, let you want to see what I bought? I bought only a couple of things. I'm fairly good so far, at least that first month, with my stash and not uh, going over my budget. I still bought some, even though I finished three uh, items. Um, you want to see one about small things? Well, one of the charts I um, I got from a Russian artist, and they sort of um, they sort of put out a painted painting 
some kind and say, hey, I'm planning to do this. You know, if you want it, you can pre-order for a little bit less. And once it's fully done, um, once they're done um, putting it together, then the price goes up. So I had said yes, but that was before New Year. And she finished it. And she sent me a message saying, hey, I'm finished, you know. Um, do you still want it? So I'm like, yeah. So you want to see? This is what it's going to look like. I don't, it's so pretty. I, well, I'm sure it's it would be pretty, otherwise I wouldn't buy it, right? So this is what it should look like. I might do that in 2018. Like I said, I'm slowly, slowly getting it together, but um, I'll have to really think what color fabric to get for it. You have any suggestions, perhaps? I want some kind of maybe hand dyed or, you know, not the white and not like a cream color maybe, but something different. So, you want? Do you have any suggestions for this? I still have, you know, a while to go, to come up with. Then another one I saw there was um, on the Facebook. Uh, this lady had uh, some patterns, and my printer doesn't print, you know, exact colors, but. Um, I like sweets and I like to make sweets and uh, I got this. It's a gingerbread castle, I believe. So, I, there you go. So I'm planning to do that one too on some kind of fabric, I don't know. But my mouth just waters looking at it. Um, speaking about sweets, I do, I don't know if, I think I've told you that um, I have like one book that I try at least once a week, uh, new, new recipe, even though my family, everybody sort of picky what they eat. So I've tried to find something that everybody might try it at least. So I look at the recipe book and I try at least one new recipe and then we all, vote you know from zero to ten how they liked it and i put it together medium and i mark it uh, with a pencil so next time we know oh we i've made this you know and we liked it or didn't so we got for christmas i got this book from my mother-in-law so i'm think i'm gonna do the same thing uh german chocolate cake you know there's some uh, chocolate dumplings it's all about chocolate, and who doesn't love chocolate? I do. Not much of the milk chocolate, but um, dark chocolate. Chil there is a chili chocolate malt, you know, so it's... And the waffles, so I'm gonna try to do this. I've, um, I kinda stopped, but I think I'm gonna pick up again, do uh, Breads of the World, I think, or something like that, book called. So I've been um, trying out different breads uh, to bake and you know from scratch so I might have to pick up again I want to go through the whole book and if you hear background music uh, it's one of the quartets that um, they just released a CD and uh, it's a barbershop a cappella women's quartet. Um, one of the members is from my chorus, and other three are from like a Kansas uh, city area. Uh, they're in the choruses there. So we're gonna have a, my chorus is gonna have a concert next Saturday. So we've been practicing and choreo. Got uh, my stage makeup on. Um, yeah, the stage makeup, I wouldn't want to walk around in a street or a store with it because it looks... If you've never been on stage, um, then you wouldn't understand, but it looks too much, you know, and the color, like, uh, you put, like, foundation, like, an orangey color, like, yuck, you know, this yellow-orange something, you know, and and huge eyelashes, and it's, like, over the top, and rouge, and everything, but when those stage lights hit you it all goes well you know it's um you wanna you wanna be shown you know not to just blend in like a white face and nothing else um 
so yeah we got uh, I got my makeup already I still need to practice and we got our costumes and uh, like um, if some of you stitchers from St. Louis watching it I sent uh, like a flyer invite to our Facebook page um, and there's one hint that uh, one of the songs I think everybody knows it's um is this the real life is this just fantasy caught in a lifetime yeah and all that stuff so that's like a little hint hint um so let's see what else oh shopping my mind is like everywhere today sun is shining i got like five hours sleep i want more sleep so besides those two patterns, I don't remember. For stitch from stash, you kind of, you don't have to, but um, I have a, like a pen pal that kind of tries to keep me in tracks. Hi Margie, if you're watching. And um, so I gave my report how much I spent, how much uh, I added from my finished, uh, finished objects <laughs> projects but um these were like on a clearance sale in joanne so i bought this to try and more color variations i ran out of a couple of uh, dmc threads shock um i don't remember did i show this to you i got from amazon little bitty dimension kit with the thread i'm not sure about the fabric i might do it i might not so that's like a thing it you know got the fabrics and uh, so it was not a very huge haul although i ordered one book through amazon this month that's coming well technically which one, one of those um one of these I ordered on the 1st of February. I paid for it at least. So that's that. And um, then I think what I'll do after my home for holidays uh, freebie, I think I'm gonna pull out my head challenge, which is beloved. And I'm gonna try to finish the challenge, which is right now, maybe halfway done oh do you want to see um if you've been watching my videos that i started doing like a crochet uh animal game ball oh let me pull it up uh, i'm uh, i'm a mani puzzle colors. little elephant so I think I might have stuffed it too much. Let's see. I haven't worked on it for long, like maybe a day. Uh, I had to tie it up and I think that's the only tie up because this needs to be loose. I wasn't sure yet if these legs have to tie it up. I think they should be looser, but I think I might have stuffed it too much because they don't want to stick together well. And after trials and trials and trials, uh, I was watching, I think at that time, a couple of the floss tubers, like a um, novice stitcher, hello, from a little bit north. <laughs> so the only thing I've done, and it was hard to do, I had to kind of rip out. There are two ears, two ears, a elephant ears, and you have to kind of switch color and you cannot, from what I've seen, you have to cut off the color and then next row go next one and next one it's easier it would be if it was a straight row but you kind of end at the end so i still left the little itsy bitsies right here but yeah after some trial and arrows i got the ears next will be head and uh, stuff in so i'm very slowly progressing on that one Oh, I was trying to organize my um, stash thing. You know, I had some boxes uh, on the shelving unit uh, 
well, bins, I would probably should say, done. And um, several years back, my mother-in-law gave me like a glass jars with some different threads in it. And uh, all right, welcome back. Oh, my phone stopped and uh, not enough space. And then, um, I don't know if you guys have the same problem. Uh, if you tie up your hair for a while, it might start giving you a headache. So I have to take it out. Can't last long. Bah. And I'm gonna cut my hair after the show because the show has a certain era time. So I'm gonna cut after that. Uh, chop it off. Chop, chop. So anyway, I was saying, oh. Um, my mother-in-law gave me some jars with some threads and I thought majority were like pearl threads. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm, I don't need it right now. But then I dug today around and guess what I found in the jars? Silk threads, it's sitting there, poor things. Uh, necessities, floss, over dyed. And it doesn't give you the color name, but like 1831, 20 yards, this is 100% cotton though, they're pretty colors. Yep, papa, uh, Needle necessities, this is 50-50 cotton and rayon. Yeah, it's like a Christmas again. And I'm like, wow, cool, you know, I could use it, although I don't know where. This one, uh, this says to use basket weave on 18 mesh. Um, okay, so this one Snow by Karen, color white. Sparkle, sparkle, you know. So it's, I don't know if you can split. I don't think you can split it. Maybe it's just one. Yeah, it's like a, this is one thread, so. Yeah, you can do it on uh, like a DMC split and there's a light blue color with the sparkle. I might be able to use that when I do ceramic gardens. I might try on something big. And then silicon colors by Thread gad Gatherer, Acorn Woods. And it's like, you can hear it crinkly it's so tightly like sp spun but it has greens and like a, sort of like a turquoise like my wall and browns acorn woods it's like where have you ever been all those times and another crackling one snow cream i don't know if they even are they even in business it's a hundred percent hand dyed silk and um, then simply strawberry it's not a big variation uh -huh. camouflage camouflage is it camouflaging <laughs> yeah i need more coffee and mississippi mud Crack, crackling, snap, crackle, pop. So, yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of nice, you know, find. Since I'm doing more than just DMC. Well, she had the pearl cottons there, two different uh, styles and sizes, but, um, and I have like embroidery floss for machines, but yay, I can use it now. Especially since I'm kind of doing more and more um, non-traditional style, I guess, the uh, patterns, you know, that you can do more variation, not like uh, heaven and earth designs kind of thing. So yeah, out of three jars, one full of precious pretties. So let's see, I think that's it. Oh, I got some crinkle crinkle. I got some buttons I'm gonna make in needle minders. Anybody wants a frog? He came to me last night. Yeah, anybody wants froggy? Yeah, it seems like it was 
jumping all over St. Louis yesterday and invading people's homes. So I hope I kicked it out. So if you caught it, too bad for you. I don't want it. Yeah, so it's like this and then um, I got some other owls and I'm trying to thinking already about the summer. In the stores they have a bunch of bikinis now, bathing suits. So, and it's a sparkly. So I'll, I'll make some needle minders. So that's it. Oh, yeah. Have, I don't watch TV or news, but um, there was a little mini episode that news, one, one news channel just did, just gave pure facts of what our new president Donald did in the first week. And I'm like, wow. That's only first week. Uh, so it's like, he's probably gonna be going like that for first hundred days because I think that's when uh, it's harder for him to put his foot down, I guess with the House of Representatives maybe. I'm not sure. I don't like politics. Um, so what I'm also going to do this week, I think I need to make these adorable baggies I got from my Stampin' Up! Paper Pumpkin, if you've seen before. And that's just enough for my daughter's classroom or maybe my son's, I don't know. They're how many? 24. So I think I have a couple left so one of the, my boys can give it to teacher maybe. So I'm going to be making these things. And these hearts, yeah. So I'll be working on that besides, besides stitching. And I don't know how about you, but for me, if I like something and if I'm into something, I just like one of the songs we sang, I can sleep and I can't eat. So uh, when I start stitching, I just can't put it down. I can't. I can't go to sleep, you know, I have to force myself to sleep and then it takes forever for my brain to shut down and not to think what I'm gonna have to do next day. Um, so I'm, I'm curious if anybody from, you know, any of you can, has the same problem like me. I'm a night owl, not the morning person. Although now it's like afternoon. I can drink coffee all day long and I usually do. Oh, it settled down. Um, I wanted to say something else. Oh, so I was watching latest uh, from Stitch to Far. Hey, Ingeborg. Uh, so um, I liked what she did that uh, she was doing like a fun facts um, from Netherlands. And um, I thought since I'm from Lithuania originally, um, I might put something out there too. Um, so I don't know about if any of you know, if you've been like in Europe and around Lithuania, um, Lithuanians are known for their hospitality. When my husband first time came, uh, to like, um, uh, meet my relatives and family, he didn't know the language, you know, and, uh, first things he learned to say is thank you. It was very good. Like, you know, because everybody was trying to feed him like, you know, he's a pig for slaughter. Um, yeah, so hospitality, we would put out, you know, table, something on a table, at least, you know, have a cookies or chocolate and coffee. Usually it's like coffee or tea there to, to drink or some, you know, if you don't wanna like something stronger, but um, usually, you know, you set out a little, quick snacks and the, or if they know you're coming then it's you know first and second and third and it's like table full it's like you sit and you don't have to get up you know to to get like a buffet food so um so yeah hospitality everywhere you go uh table will be covered with food um but it's a good food so at least to me you know but uh i was laughing because that's the first words he learned to say in lithuanian that i uh, think it was delicious no more kind of thing um and to finish off um i was curious you know 
like in America especially or even everybody everywhere else there are descendants of um, certain nationalities so um, from you who watch my channel at least that long um, who who of you or how many of you are like pure Lithuanians and how many of you have Lithuanian blood because you just stumble upon you know in the area you say you know oh I'm from Lithuania I'm like oh yeah my grandpa's parents came or something like that so it's kind of cool you know um, I'm interested in my roots if you know if you watch I've done genealogy and I'm still slowly doing what I can so and I think I'll finish on that fun note it's enough my blabbering uh, the sun is about to fully hit this west side so uh, I'm gonna have to drink more coffee not to just lay on a couch in the sun like a cat and take a nap because my kids will be coming home from school soon and then the life will begin fast track so that's it for now uh, happy February um, Valentine's Day is coming so just saying it's Make something special for not just your like a hubby or boyfriend or girlfriend, partner, but um, even to strangers. You know, share the love. So on that note, I'll say bye-bye. Till later.